The day had been long, and as I stepped through the front door, a wave of exhaustion washed over me. As a single mother, juggling work and parenting was a constant challenge, but my love for my teenage son Simon made every sacrifice worthwhile. However, something was amiss. I couldn't quite put my finger on it, but a subtle unease settled within me. It was as if the atmosphere in the house had shifted, leaving behind a lingering sense of mystery. My gaze fell upon the hallway mirror, and there it was. My favorite dress and a pair of high heels, clearly displaced from their usual spot. Confusion wrinkled my brow. Had I absentmindedly moved them? That seemed unlikely. I prided myself on maintaining order, especially in our small but cozy home. My mind whirred with possibilities, searching for a logical explanation. Then it struck me. Simon, my dear son with his kind heart and unapologetic individuality. He had always stood out among the other kids, never one to conform to societal expectations. Simon reveled in expressing his true self, unafraid to embrace his unique qualities. The memory of Simon's playfulness with makeup during family gatherings flashed through my mind. Instead of joining his cousins in sports activities, he would retreat to his room, adorned in vibrant eyeshadows and lipsticks, perfecting his art. I had never found it strange or unsettling. In fact, I admired his courage to be himself in a world that often discouraged such self-expression. Still, I couldn't shake the feeling that Simon might be involved in the mysterious relocation of my belongings. As we gathered around the dinner table that evening, I observed him closely. His movements seemed more fluid, his gestures more delicate. It was as if his very essence had embraced a newfound femininity. I toyed with the idea of broaching the subject, but uncertainty held me back. What if I was jumping to conclusions? Perhaps it was merely a coincidence, a simple case of misplaced items that held no deeper meaning. I couldn't risk accusing Simon without concrete evidence or a better understanding of the situation. Dinner proceeded in a mixture of silence and polite conversation, but my mind remained preoccupied. I decided to bide my time, hoping for a clearer insight into the mystery that had taken hold of our home. Maybe, just maybe, the truth would reveal itself in due course. But little did I know, the journey that lay ahead would not only uncover the secret behind the displaced belongings, but also bring us closer together in ways I had never imagined. The next morning, fueled by curiosity and a deep desire to understand, I found myself seated in front of my laptop, typing in search terms that felt both foreign and familiar. I sought guidance from the vast expanse of the internet, hoping to find others who might have experienced something similar. After sifting through numerous search results, I stumbled upon a forum thread titled Support and Understanding, Embracing Authenticity. It seemed like the perfect place to find the guidance I sought. Scrolling through the comments, my eyes fixated on a particular user's response that resonated with me. Sometimes when children express themselves in unconventional ways, it's an exploration of their true identity, the forum user wrote. Your son's fascination with makeup and feminine qualities might be his way of discovering his own unique path. Support and acceptance can make all the difference. A sense of clarity washed over me. It all began to make sense. The displaced dress and high heels, Simon's increasing femininity, it was an expression of his true self, a journey of self-discovery and exploration. I couldn't help but feel a surge of pride for my son's bravery in embracing who he truly was. Eager to support Simon in his journey, I decided to take a step beyond understanding and acceptance. I wanted to actively participate in his exploration, showing him that he wasn't alone and that I was right there with him. With newfound determination, I embarked on a shopping trip. The vibrant energy of the mall enveloped me as I navigated through stores, browsing through racks of shoes, palettes of colorful makeup, and racks of dresses. I finally settled on a pair of high heels that I knew Simon would love, a beautiful blend of elegance and comfort. Back home, I wrapped the shoes with care, tying a delicate ribbon around the box. My heart raced with anticipation as I called out for Simon to join me in my room. He entered, 
a curious look on his face. Is this for me, Mom? Simon's voice was tinged with a mix of surprise and excitement as he held the wrapped gift in his hands. I smiled, my eyes filled with love. Yes, Simon. I noticed my heels had been moved, and I realized that it was you. I want you to have your own pair now, so open it. Simon's fingers gently unwrapped the gift, and his eyes widened as he beheld the sparkling heels nestled inside. His lips curved into a grateful smile, and he looked at me, his voice barely a whisper. Thank you, Mom. Touched by the moment, I enveloped Simon in a warm embrace, reassuring him of my unconditional love and support. In that instant, our connection grew even stronger, cemented by a shared understanding and acceptance. As we lingered in that embrace, I knew that this was only the beginning of our journey together. Simon's exploration of his true self would require more than just a pair of heels. It would demand patience, understanding, and a commitment to standing by his side every step of the way. Days turned into weeks, and the bond between Simon and me grew deeper as we embraced his journey of self-expression. My understanding of his desire to explore femininity expanded, and together we delved into the world of makeup tutorials, fashion blogs, and stories of individuals who had found solace and authenticity in expressing their true selves. Armed with newfound knowledge and a heart brimming with love, I watched Simon experiment with different looks, his confidence blooming like a vibrant flower. He fearlessly embraced his feminine qualities, walking with grace and poise that drew admiration from even the most skeptical observers. One evening, as we sat together on the living room couch, scrolling through an online store filled with stylish dresses and wigs, Simon turned to me with a shy smile. Mom, can we go shopping for a dress and a wig? I want to fully express who I am he said, his eyes shimmering with anticipation. The request filled me with a mix of emotions, pride, excitement, and a tinge of apprehension. I knew that society could be unforgiving and judgmental, but I also recognized the importance of supporting Simon's authenticity. With a reassuring smile, I agreed to his request. The following weekend, we embarked on a shopping spree. The racks of dresses whispered stories of femininity, and the wigs displayed an array of possibilities. Simon's eyes sparkled with delight as he tried on various styles, twirling and admiring himself in the mirror. His infectious joy spread to my own heart, casting away any lingering doubt or worry. We eventually settled on a beautiful dress that accentuated Simon's features, enhancing his natural beauty. The wig we chose was a cascade of silky strands that framed his face, transforming him into a vision of elegance. As we left the store, Simon walked with newfound confidence, his steps mirroring the rhythm of his own beating heart. Back at home, our excitement reached its peak. I carefully applied makeup, highlighting Simon's best features and bringing out the radiance within. Each brushstroke and dab of color felt like a celebration of his journey, a testament to his courage and authenticity. When the transformation was complete, Simon stood before the mirror, gazing at his reflection. Tears welled up in my eyes as I witnessed his true essence shining through, a beautiful soul fully embracing the person he was meant to be. You look stunning, Simone, I whispered, using the name that had become a part of our shared journey. Simone's smile stretched from ear to ear, her eyes glistening with gratitude. Simone, she said her voice filled with conviction. I love that, Mom. It fits me perfectly. In that moment, we both knew that Simone was not merely a name, but a symbol of empowerment, self-discovery, and the unwavering bond between a mother and her child. Inspired by Simone's confidence and eagerness to express herself, we decided to take her transformation to the next level. Together, we embarked on a quest to unlock her true beauty not only through external adornment, but by nurturing the radiance that emanated from within. I invited Simone to my room, which had transformed into a sanctuary of colors, textures, and endless possibilities. The scent of perfumes mingled in the air, creating an atmosphere of excitement and anticipation.
We sat in front of a vanity mirror adorned with an array of makeup brushes, palettes, and shimmering powders. With delicate precision, I began to enhance Simone's natural features, subtly accentuating her eyes with shades that mirrored the depth of her soul. We experimented with different lip colors, finding the perfect hues that highlighted her vibrant personality. Each stroke of the brush and every dab of product brought us closer to unveiling Simone's true beauty. As I worked, Simone's reflection grew more and more captivating. Her eyes sparkled like precious gems, reflecting a newfound confidence and self-acceptance. With each application, her features seemed to transform, revealing the exquisite woman she was becoming. Finally, I placed a luscious wig upon Simone's head, its cascading locks framing her face with elegance and grace. It was as if a star had descended from the heavens, ready to illuminate the world with her radiance. Simone's eyes widened as she took in her reflection. A moment of silence passed between us, the room enveloped in a profound sense of awe and reverence. Then, in a voice filled with wonder, she whispered, I can't believe it. I feel so beautiful. Tears welled in my eyes as I witnessed Simone's joy and self-acceptance. It was a testament to the power of love, support, and the strength that comes from embracing one's true self. In that transformative moment, I realized that beauty was not confined to societal standards, but a celebration of the unique qualities that make us who we are. You have always been beautiful, Simone, I said, my voice filled with pride. Today, you are simply embracing that beauty with open arms. Simone embraced me tightly, her gratitude pouring forth like a gentle waterfall. In that embrace, we celebrated not only her physical transformation, but the indomitable spirit that had carried us through this journey of self-discovery. As we stepped back, hand in hand, I looked at Simone and marveled at the beautiful young woman standing before me. Together, we had unveiled the beauty within, a beauty that transcended appearances and reflected the depth of our souls. Hope you enjoyed this story, and if you're looking for a daily escape into the world of cross-dressing, subscribe now and enjoy new stories every single day.